Hi, my name is Kian. I'm the founder of HappySpeakersAcademy.com, where we teach young professionals and Toastmasters members maximize their Toastmasters journey so that they could become a better presenters, improve their presentation skills, and become a confident, competent communicator. Have you ever had these challenges where you sit down in a desk and trying to figure out the outline of your presentations? And you don't know what to talk about. You, you, are, you, you don't have the topic. And worse still, you, you sign up to become to take up the role as the project speakers. And you are determined to, to give your next very next presentation. And when you sit down on the desk, you spend hours and hours trying to figure out that speech topic, trying to come up with the perfect speech topic. But even if you do all that you are still not 100% sure that the way you crafted the presentation will work because you do not have the comprehensive step-by-step -step system that shows you how to craft a winning speech. You know, it was so awesome to share with you um, this video live uh, because I've, I first joined Toastmasters back in 2003 where I walked into a Toastmasters meeting room and gave my first ever public presentation and I was trembling and I was struggling t to figure out the simplest thing like you know what what topic should I be speaking about should I write down my speeches word for word I mean should I write everything down word for word or should I just write in point form or what what should I do with my hands you know should I move my hands and how should I how should I move around on stage? And I become really self-conscious sometimes, standing in front trying to give my, give my speech. And what if I forgot my line? You know, but throughout the seven years in Toastmasters, you know, I have figured out something. I remember when I was in the Kuala Lumpur International Airport in Malaysia. Uh, this is where I've, I'm from. And at the time, I was taking a flight to San Francisco, from Malaysia to San Francisco for a, a one year and nine months assignment in San Francisco. I promised myself at the airport, I say, you know Ken, the next time if I step foot back into Malaysia, I would finish my 10 project speech. Sure enough, I took the flight to San Francisco and for a year and a half, I have joined the MIA Toastmasters Club. In San Francisco, missing in action. Okay, I'm kidding, but uh, you know what I mean. I, I have I have I took a Toastmaster vacation for a year and a half, and I, and and I was just having fun playing and you know, working and playing and and didn't even do any of my speeches. And to you, maybe right now, ten project speeches, ten project speeches, ten speeches of five to seven minutes might be really easy. But back then. For me to finish 10 speeches in a year and 9 months, that was a huge accomplishment for me. And, and I, I, was, I spent a year and a half doing nothing. And um, three and a half months before I took the flight back from San Francisco back to Malaysia, I was like thinking, oh my god, I, I need to do something about this. So what happened is I emailed 15 different clubs and I joined a Toastmasters club to get a slot in Toastmasters to speak. And in three and a half months, I finish my 10 project speeches and become a confident, competent communicator. In three and a half months. Uh, that is the, the turning point in Toastmasters for me. That's when I call, I jump on the springboard of Toastmasters. But uh, that, that's, that's only beginning of the story because when I went back to Malaysia in, uh, sometime in 2006, um, I, if you were to walk into a room, of a uh, Toastmasters meeting in my office, you would have seen five people, including me, sitting down on in a, I mean on a chair with Dennis Wee, who is the president at the time. Dennis looked at me and said, Ken, can you become the vice president membership of our club? I looked back at Dennis like I was done. But I took the challenge. Neither do I know that with obligations, it also comes opportunities. Six months later, I become the president of Toastmasters Club. And from a room of 
a handful of seven people, don't quote me on the number, but about seven people in the room, we turned out in, in less than two years, we grew the club, me and Dennis grew the club from seven, from, from like a single digit membership to almost 30 plus members in less than two years. And we become so good. And we in, in, in the year when I was the president, my club achieved its first ever president distinguished club, which is the highest uh, leadership award that a club could have since the club was chartered maybe eight years ago back then. And um, we were doing so well that um, the whole area knows about us, the whole division knows about us, and area governors, which are higher levels of authority in Toastmaster hierarchies, they come to us and ask us, you know, how do you do this? And I was asked to write an article on how to revive a dying Toastmasters club. And that article was published in three different countries. You know? And uh, better still is that at a time when I came back to, to the States back in December um, and I stuck, uh, and, and I, when I came back, I became so good in this because I was keep doing my speech again and again, again and again. And I found out the reason I become so motivated and to become good in this because I have Dennis. Dennis, at the time, Dennis was my mentor. He was keep coaching me and giving me guidance. And with the right coach, right guidance, I, I, I jump on. I totally jump on the springboard of Toastmasters. And um, in, I think in 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 two thousand and nine, I became the first runner up of humorous speech contests in Division B. And that was that was big for me because being an Asian guys who have thick Asian accents do not speak English that well, Have was trembling the first time I gave my speech to become a first runner-up of Division B Toastmasters beating some of the white fellow Toastmasters members that I have. And I felt it was good. And I, I didn't tell this to brag about it or, or, or to impress you, but to impress upon you that if I can do it, you can do it too. You know, throughout seven years in Toastmasters, I have learned something in my life. I learned something and I see a lot of Toastmasters fall into what I call the Toastmaster time trap cycle. What this tiger is about is a Toastmasters, you know, the old, the, the old way of Toastmasters taught you could grab a manual, read the manual, present a speech, get some feedback and you do it again and you will be successful in improving your presentation skill. That was an old myth. Because... When you read a manual, when, 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 when the Toastmasters read that manual and they spend two weeks to prepare for it and they finally gave that speech and 30 minutes later they get a re they receive a feedback. A feedback from an evaluator who gave them a feedback. But what happened is from the time they receive the feedback to the time they redo their second speech, the, uh, the lapse times in between three to four months. If you were to read the December 2009 Toastmasters magazine, an average Toastmaster spent three to four, uh, an average Toastmasters do three to four speeches a year. That means average the time between the first and the second speech and second speech and third speech is the span of time of three to four months. And you and I know today if we leave this room or if you leave this video, 50% of what I say here is forgotten. And another, I think like two weeks later or three weeks later, 70% of that is gone. And how do we expect us to improve, to make changes, to make cost correction if there's a lap of three to four months after the feedback? You know, if we keep doing this again and again in this old method, you know, this old method says practice makes perfect. The old method says practice makes perfect. That was long gone. The new method is practice with coaching makes perfect. Practice with coaching makes perfect. This is what I want to introduce to you today is the new Toastmasters Triangle of Triumph. The new Toastmasters Triangle of Triumph says something very simple. It says, the first a coach or a mentor will communicate to the presenter. Tell them, you know, this is the way you should structure your opening, structure your closing, how you can strategically build your story with conflict, with twists and turns. 
with twists and turns so that they could go back and prepare a seat based on that framework that is easy to follow and there is no more guessing work. It's, everything is laid down. With that framework, they prepare the speech and then the presenter will come in front and present in front of that coach alone. And the coach will give them instant feedback, which is what I call the cost correction. Giving instant coaching with instant cost correction, the presenter will change the speech there and then and redo this cycle three times in one hour. Three times in one hour. And you know, building a skill is not a rocket science. Because building a skill is if you hit building a skill is like hitting a nail in a wall. The more you hone your skill, the more you, you knock on it, the more you do a cost correction and get instant impact, you can build that skill. But how do I know that this will work? Because a couple of months ago, back in uh, October last year, October last year, we bring in 23 different attendees over a weekend and we do the exact same formula. We have someone who present and then someone who stand up in front and apply the skill that was being presented by a speaker and then they practice it and then they got feedback and then they redo that again three times and over the weekend by the end of the second day we received none of the testimony was all of the 100% of the testimony were all positive and one of them actually says you know by the end of the first day of that speech craft workshop I felt I have improved my public speaking skill by the end of the second day I have tremendous improvement in my public speaking skills but you know what's a common mistake here that it might not work there are only two reasons it will not work first the presenter do not follow the instructions because if you give them the framework to follow and you do not follow it that's really it, it, it will not work the second is they don't believe it but if there's anything that you can if, if, all, if you leave this if you close off this brow browser if I don't see you again or if you go out of of this room and you forget every single thing I say, remember this. Fine. Follow this principle and get a coach. Find the right coach is your key to improving your presentation skill fast. If you want to get a if you want to find a coach and find the right coach for you, visit our website at www.happyspeakersacademy.com. Go out there, live to your best and be a better communicator that you can ever be. Thanks.